In 1975, Steven Spielberg's epic shark-centric thriller Jaws sunk its teeth into moviegoers across the globe. It later went on to be widely regarded as one of the greatest films in cinematic history. Fast forward 12 years later, and LJN releases their video game adaptation of the classic film on the NES in 1987. It's no great surprise either, since LJN became kind of infamous for churning out tons of subpar movie games on Nintendo's system all throughout its lifespan. So, does Jaws on the NES fall into that same old pattern? Let's find out. Jaws on the NES is sort of an odd game to describe or classify. I guess if I had to, I would label it an action-adventure game, although it definitely has some other elements to it. The basic goal in the game is to sail around in the water and collect conch shells that are used as currency. These can be turned in at one of two ports and will upgrade your ship and its attack power, as well as enabling special items that can make your search a little easier. As you sail around, you'll almost constantly hit something in the water. Once this happens, you jump ship and are left to fend for yourself, armed with only a spear gun and a diving suit. You'll basically just be blasting away at some stingrays and jellyfish while collecting conch shells and other items. Once you violently take care of the life aquatic, you'll jump back into the boat and repeat. It's worth noting here that it only takes one hit to kill your character, so you'll have to be overly cautious when swimming around and blasting. When you die, power levels are removed from your ship, so you'll have to go out and get some more shells and repower it all over again. At times, the game will interject to toss you into a bonus scene, where you'll end up dropping bombs on two synchronized rows of jellyfish. These stages are actually pretty helpful since scoring big will grant you with a decent number of extra shells. See, the ports require a certain amount of shells in order to grant you the upgrades, and if you don't have enough, they'll just end up sending you on your way. On top of hitting random objects in the ocean, you'll also inevitably hit Jaws as well. When this happens, you'll usually start in the boat and lob some bombs at him before diving in. Once in, you basically just shoot at him until he swims away. It's really not very difficult at all, but I do recommend a turbo controller for this one. Repeatedly bashing the A button to shoot will take its toll on your hands after a while. Once you get his life bar all the way down, you'll be taken to another kind of mini-game where you'll get three chances to shine a strobe light into his face to stun him. You have to line him up in the center and hit him with it, and when you do, he will get stunned and pop out of the water. Once he does, all you have to do is ram the front of the boat right into his face. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You've just finished the game. Remember, this game did come out back in 87. It's not exactly a graphical tour de force by any means, but everything looks decent and colorful. The scenery doesn't change much, but it's never painful to look at, unlike some other LJN titles. I'm looking at you, X-Men. Jaws himself is a bit disappointing to run into, especially because he's so small. If you remember from the movie, he was absolutely freaking huge. <laughs> The sound is okay, and again, for a game that came out so early in the NES's lifespan, it does sound good. The music is fairly catchy overall, but it's hard to really examine a lot of the sound design in Jaws, since most of the time you're just hearing the repeated sound of your character blasting away with the spear gun. The game itself controls pretty well across its several minigame sections, and it feels pretty responsive overall. No complaints on that front. So there you have it guys, Jaws on the NES. There's definitely not a whole lot to it, but it is a fun little distraction. It's one of those games that's kind of like Friday the 13th that can take you 10 minutes or 10 hours to finish, depending on how you play it. In filming the footage for this review, I ended up going from start to finish in exactly 13 minutes total. Jaws is assuredly better than a lot of the other film-based games released by LJN, so don't be hesitant in picking it up. It goes for incredibly reasonable prices these days, and at the very least will provide some simplistic shark hunting fun.
Oh, and if for some reason you just absolutely hate stingrays and jellyfish, then this game is definitely for you. As always, guys, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay classic.